Hello and welcome to another Crafternoon to Go program from Westerly Library in Wilcox Park. This month we're making giant lavender scented bath bombs. As always, if you signed up for a Crafternoon to Go program, you should have received a kit with everything you need to complete the project. If you didn't receive a kit, you can still follow the tutorial at home after purchasing a few materials. Each kit comes with baking soda, citric acid, Epsom salt, cornstarch, liquid coconut oil, although if you're doing this from home and you only have solid coconut oil, you can melt yours in the microwave and that will work, lavender buds, lavender essential oil, and a round bath bomb mold. If you have a kit, all of your ingredients have been pre-measured and you should have exactly as much as you need. In addition to the items in your kit, you will also need a large and a small bowl, a whisk, and some water. If you prefer, you can also use 90% or higher isopropyl alcohol or witch hazel in place of the water. If you want, you can also add a powder colorant such as mica powder to color your bomb. I do not recommend substituting food coloring for this project. A note on the molds. The molds that are included in your kit are really large. They're about three inches in diameter. This does make for an impressive bath bomb, but I've also found that it's very tricky to get it to stay together. There are a few options you have if you don't want to use this large mold. You can use each side of the mold separately to make two half circle bombs. You can use a muffin or a mini muffin tin. Or if you have any plastic eggs left over from Easter, those little ones that are hollow and open in the middle, those are perfect for making bath bombs. For any of these options, you're going to follow the same recipe and the same general directions. And now that you have everything you need, we can get started. Our first step is to separately combine our wet and dry ingredients. Pour the baking soda, Epsom salt, and cornstarch into your large bowl. This should be marked as bag number one. And whisk until combined. You don't want to add the citric acid yet. Add half of your lavender buds and whisk again. You can also add your powder colorant now if you wish. In a small bowl, add your coconut oil and essential oils and stir until combined. We're going to save the water or the isopropyl alcohol for the time being. Next, we're going to combine all of our ingredients. Start by slowly adding the wet mixture to the dry one, whisking as you pour. I recommend putting on some gloves at this point and continuing to mix by hand by mushing the ingredients with your fingers. This may take a few minutes to properly combine them, but you don't want to rush it. Once combined, the mixture should resemble damp sand. If you squeeze it and open your hand, it should stick together. If it falls apart, this means that you need some more moisture, and at this point you can add some of your water. Add just a tiny bit at a time, because adding too much can ruin your bath bomb as it will react with the citric acid when that is added. So keep adding tiny amounts and mixing together until you feel you have the right consistency. Finally, add your citric acid, again just a little bit at a time, stirring well in between. Adding it slowly should keep it from reacting with the water. You can also use your gloved hands to mix this. Our third step is to fill our mold. Start by pouring your remaining lavender buds on one side of the mold. Next, begin filling your mold with the bath bomb mixture, tightly packing each side until they overflow slightly. You shouldn't have any mixture remaining. Once filled, close the ball tightly and twist. If you choose to make the two half circle bombs instead of the large one, you can just tightly pack each side and then you'll let them sit and air dry. At this point, wait a minute or two, continuing to hold the sides together tightly. Then tap on the side of the mold a few times and carefully twist and remove just one side of the bath bomb mold. If your bomb crumbles at this point, just put the mixture back in the bowl and try it again. You may need to add a little bit more water before you pack it back in. Now wait for it to dry. This takes patience as it will take at least a day and possibly closer to two. Again, you don't want to rush it and take it apart too soon or your ball could fall apart. Our final step is to remove the bath bomb and we'll talk about how to store it. First, hold the exposed part of the bath bomb in your palm with the mold side pointing up. Very lightly tap on the plastic mold in a few different places. 
Then grasp the mold and slightly twist it while pulling it up. It should come off fairly easily. Your bath bomb should be stored in an airtight container and used within four to six months. And with that, you're done. I hope you enjoyed your craft afternoon to go. As always, feel free to reach out to us with any questions, comments, or feedback. Call us at 401-596-2877, extension 306, or email reference at westerlylibrary.org.